we finally made it. Helium Mobile finally launched at a price point of $25, unlimited data in the US. And in this video, we'll talk about how this could affect the mobile price going forward. We all understand that Helium Mobile is selling phone plans, but they don't have a network built yet. It's being built by us, members of the community. And so far, we deployed roughly a little over 8,000 radios US wide. So while we ramp up our 5G deployments, luckily Helium Mobile has a partnership with T-Mobile that allows them to offload their data on the T-Mobile network. So it's costing Helium Mobile anywhere from two to $4 per gigabyte offloaded on the T-Mobile network. But their plan is to take that traffic and offload it from the T-Mobile network to the Helium network in order to save a lot on their offloading fees, which makes lots of sense. Helium Mobile's fee to use the network will be 50 cents per gigabyte, enabling them to save anywhere from four to eight times what they would have to pay to T-Mobile otherwise. And Helium Mobile consuming lots of data on our network is exactly what we need to see happen if we want to see the price of mobile token go up. Okay, but we want to see it go up. So how do people actually consume data on the network to make it go up? Well, it's pretty simple. If a service provider like Helium Mobile wants to use the Helium network to offload data, they simply got to buy some h &T tokens and then exchange them for credits. And those credits could be used either for the IoT network or for the mobile network. It's that simple. Here's an example with some numbers. If Helium Mobile has 1 million subscribers that they want to offload to the Helium network, and let's say each one of those subscribers is consuming about 10 gigabytes per month, that would mean that they would need to buy for 10 million gigabytes per month. At a price point of 50 cents per gigabyte, that's how much we're selling each gigabyte on the Helium network. That would mean that they would have to pay $5 million per month to use the network. It's very straight up. But the question is not, how do we make revenue with this network? That's pretty obvious. It's about growth. How do we go from a $5 million revenue to $200 million of revenue? And luckily for us, the network has been designed for growth. And here's how it works. Now, without going too much into the details, I'll try to give you a simplified version of all that. But if you're curious to know more about it, then I encourage you to visit HIP51. So growth all starts with data consumption happening on the network. There's no way around that. We need data consumption happening on the network. But once we have data consumption happening on the network, that will lead to higher floor price of mobile. When we get a higher floor price of mobile, that will lead to more 5G deployments because it's just more profitable to deploy. If you have more 5G radios deployed, then you will get more data consumption happening again on the network. And if you get again more data consumption happening on the network, then the floor price of mobile will rise again. And that's how you ignite that flywheel. But it all starts with data consumption. So the question you guys might have is, well, if data consumption is how you ignite that flywheel, can Helium Mobile acquire loss of users quickly? Because otherwise, yes, if they acquire a few users here and there, we're going to start that flywheel, but it's going to be super slow. We need lots of users quickly. And the answer is yes, they can. Actually, Helium raised over $350 million. So they have a lot of cash to spend towards marketing. And while we were doing this video, the co-founder of Helium himself, Amir, confirmed our hypothesis over Discord stating that they have tens of millions of dollars ready to spend into marketing. Okay, so what's the timeline for all that? For context, right now, Hilo Mobile is in the beta phase and they will only start acquiring subscribers in big amounts once they hit the general admission phase. We expect that phase to start anywhere this summer. All right, guys, that was it for this video. You got all the relevant information about Hilo Mobile and how we think the mobile token price will be affected going forward. But of course, this was only your opinion. This wasn't financial advice. But if you'd like to continue that conversation with us, please join our Discord server. But as a closing note, I'd like to remind you that Helium's vision is even larger than all that. The Helium network has been built to welcome multiple cell phone companies. And Helium Mobile happens to be the first one. In the near future, we might attract the bigger players. But these guys will only come to us once we prove that our network is solid.
But once we do, that's when we hit a home run. Because if data consumption is the name of the game and how we ignite our flywheel, then these guys are the superheroes. On that note, thank you all for listening and have a great day.